Yes, I am Samuel Gerard. I represent Singularity Aerospace. I am the CTO of the company and co-founder. Uh, we are here at the Aero India today uh, to display our UCAF. Yes. Uh, can you talk us about your UCAF? What's the specifications, uh, testing, and uh, how has been the performance? First, okay. Okay. So the specifications sir, sir, are. Sir, 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 sir. So the specifications are that it's a six meter into two wing. So it's a tandem wing configuration. The aircraft performs better than a regular fixed wing aircraft because it's got two wings to lift larger payload. So it carries twice its payload. That means it, it, if it weighs 100 kgs, it carries 200 kgs of payload. So that's the kind of advantage from a tandem wing. Other than that, it's got uh, weaponizing capability. It has got uh, endurance and it has also got a special uh, onboard uh, AI function which is looking at vision. From vision, it is able to understand the terrain and getting what we call situational awareness. So that's what it's got. And other than that, it's got multiple choice of engines. So we can go with a piston engine, we can go with a turbine engine, we can go with a four-stroke engine. So turbine gives it speed, time to target, it can reach the target faster, and it can fly at higher altitudes, reason being it's got two links to lift. Two wings give it the lift, extra lift in the thin air. So that's the advantage of this aircraft. Yes, it is a tactical drone. It is not a full-size, large uh, predator kind of a drone, but it's a very tactical drone. So you can select what you want to do with it. It is small. It can take off from a runway, like something like a road. Mm -hmm. So you can take off from any highway that you select from. So it can be stationed in multiple places across the country and can take off from ordinary roads. That's how it's designed. And... Uh, Talking further about it, so <laughs> we can see ISRO has been marked over there as Yes, well. sir. So, can you just talk us about the collaboration? So, uh, uh, ISRO and Indian Army, that's a, a joint innovations and indigenization cell, which uh, has actually contributed in terms of the electronics, hardware, and, you know, the support for the uh, uh, sensors that were required, which are not easily available to manufacture UCAV in India. We have a lot of restrictions to cover from. So, looking at that, the access that we got from ISRO was, uh, uh, you know, fantastic for us to move forward in this project. So, so basically, when it is talked about, uh, there, there is always a theme yes. of, of the drone. What is the basic theme of the drone? Uh, uh, in comparison to? In comparison to the, what's the basic function, what was the target? the ISRO and the Indian Army? Decided. So the target was that uh, we were unable to, at, today we are looking at Israelis to supply us a class of this aircraft. So we are the first company to replace that today. So we replace uh, the very founding stone of uh, being able to uh, build an aircraft of this size and uh, have it integrated with all the sensors and make meaningful missions. So that is, that, that's what is standing there. We are slowly replacing what we were buying and at a cost so low that it really helps them buy much more. So it also helps the industry and you know it also gives uh, smaller companies to look up making these larger aircrafts today. So we've been always doing smaller aircrafts considering the cost and all that. Now we are able to build little more bigger aircrafts. So it's basically a, uh, a very stronger push for the drones to make in India. Drones. Make in India, of course. So most of the aircraft, you can say 85% of the aircraft is completely built in India. The carbon fiber, of course, comes from abroad. But the entire work and the stack, that is the software which we are very smart at. So that's something very intelligence has been built into it. So we have had help from Indian Institute of Sciences, IIT Madras, and IIT Kanpur. Yes. Uh, where has it has been tested as well, sir? So this uh, is uh, classified. I cannot give you this information. But uh, yes, it has had successful flights. And... Uh, has a very good endurance, has very good characteristics, behaves very well in, uh, uh, you know, whether it's the Western Front or whether it is the Northern Front. And uh, now we are slowly going to move it to the Eastern Front. So it has been uh, tested uh, near the fronts? Of uh, yes, to those environments it has been exposed to and uh, small missions are conducted.
to you know uh, see the performance okay. Okay. yeah thank you sir thank you yeah.